News Flash is brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Steel. Fun pa 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 fee. You are still watching Prime Morning, and of course, this segment is the News Flash segment, and we urge you to be a part of this segment. It's it's like we talking about things that concerns us. Every single person is a part of this conversation, whether it's the economy, whether it's about you know our lifestyle, whatever it is. When we bring you News Flash, every person is affected either positively or negatively, and that's why we are here to discuss the issues. This segment is proudly brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Still, phone, pepper, pair, pair, fee, whatever gadgets you are looking for, whether mobile phones, television sets, CCTV cameras, we've got all of them and even many, many more. All you need to do is to visit any of our shops, okay? Just check out our shops, or you can actually download the app on your phone, which is Franco Trading app. Or if you want any more inquiry, or you want to make inquiries, you can visit our website, www.francotradingenterprise.com. Franco Trading Enterprise, sell, phone, papa, pair, fee. And like I told you earlier, we want you to be a part of the conversation. We are still fixated on Galamse, and until we are able to fight it out, until we are able to eradicate it, we will not stop this fight. And as we fight, we need every single one of you to be a part of this fight because we have been told that in the next six years, we could lose access to portable drinking water. It is scary. Now, six years comes like this. It comes back just like this. And so if we don't fight now, it could get worse. It could get dark. And as of now that we are talking about, now we know certain regions are struggling with good water. We take a look at the central region, we take a look at some parts of the Ashanti region, some parts of the eastern region, they are all struggling with good drinking water. And it could get to greater Accra region very soon and or spread across the whole of Ghana. So the fight is not up to them to fight, but it's up to all of us to fight. No matter your party color, we ought to come together and fight this. It's, it's, it's a Ghanaian fight. Let's do it together. Now, today we, uh, we will show you a video of what is still happening when we talk about Galamsee. But before that, let me introduce my first guest who is here, Richard Manorubi, representing the NDC this morning. Hi, Richard. Hi, Rosalind. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. You are really looking different. Where are you going from here? Oh, I'm from here. Where do I have to go? No job. I'm going home to sleep. Where else do I have to go? What am I going to do? So you did a three-piece? Yeah, I did a oh, three-piece. Okay. You know, I, I, I dress like my boss. So uh, in as much as I'm a son of President John Dramani, my main incoming president, and rehearse him to come to government, I'm also wearing my government suits. <laughs> they are rehearsing to come to government. government. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so... I must, I must, I should start dressing like a British. Mm, okay. Yes, so that when we do proper negotiations, nobody can cheat us. Yo, Richard Manrubi, <laughs> we hear you. All right, so we are still waking, waiting for Saka Salia, who will represent the NPP, to join us, and he'll be here very, very soon. And so let me start with what the newspapers are reporting. I'll start with the Ghanaian Times newspaper, the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Support government to build resilient economy and maintain peace ahead of December polls. This is coming from the Labour Minister. Alan, two others filed nominations to contest 7th December presidential poll. Uh, we know that uh, a few have filed and yesterday Alan also did file. Illegal mining in minutes. Government orders action against Galamse pushes regional ministers, REGSECs, to intensify enforcement efforts nationwide. And organized labor association CSOs join call to combat illegal mining. Now, talking about this, you know, government ordering uh, more stringent measures and uh, there are some bodies that are calling for a state of emergency. Will the government declare a state of emergency on Galamse? Others are saying that the government should put a complete halt on small-scale mining and it will be able to curb it. Um, we know Minos Commission has spoken about that as well. Now, yesterday, GJA has also come out to say that government should name and shame every single person or individual that is involved in this illegal mining. That is the only way that we can fight Galamse. The Daily Dispatch newspaper, the EC needs our prayers. They become scapegoats for people who lose elections. And this is coming from Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Alan Sherman Singh, 69 years, 
picked Kwame Danso 40 years as his running mate. NPP's road infrastructure is nearly double the African regional average, Minister of Roads says so. My next newspaper is the New Republic newspaper, the New Republic. CAF passes verdict, redraws approval for Babayara Stadium 2. Now, this is so sad to hear because um, for a country that we are so developed, for a country that our taxes are so high, you are not expecting to hear such things. And so you realize that as much as we are complaining about, you know, our, our, our sportsmen, of course, we have a ministry that is responsible for this. And hearing this, I don't know if heads will roll. And if heads don't roll, then we do have a cause to worry as citizens. Because even Babayara Sports Stadium has been ruled out by CAF. And so we can't play our final game, which is supposed to be a home match, on. This is sad. When did we get here? How did we get here? Uh, World Cup fraud dreamer NPP's Haji owns up at last. TUC Joy's anti galamse crusade threatens nationwide strike action. And as TUC has threatened, we know that UTAG has also threatened and Federation of Labor is also threatening. The Anchor newspaper is the final newspaper, The Anchor. Small-scale mining, not a criminal venture. Don't ban it, miners plead. Uh, <laughs> Okay. MPP's Rafael Kuma files to contest a Bolivar boy seat and uh, Belmia appoints Duca as campaign coordinator for mining communities. Land Ministry directs regional ministers, REGSECs, to intensify Galamse fight and Alam picks Kwesi Pratt's in law as running mate. All right. So that will be it for uh, the newspapers. But I'm just wondering. You know, if this, oh, let's intensify this, let's intensify that is what's going to fight Galamse or the state of emergency, the declaration of state of emergency will be able to keep Galamse or, uh, you know, Utah going on strike, TUC going on strike, all these will actually happen. Or the name and shame that GJA is uh, suggesting will actually help fight Galamse. Now, we've heard about certain, you know, top officials, certain chiefs uh, alleged that are involved in Galamse. Let's not forget that there's been a whole report on, you know, Galamse where Professor from Pombwating named a few people okay. who are involved in Galamse. Not just that, but, you know, when, when people go to certain places, we are told that there are certain, uh, you know, government officials that are involved. I remember Erastus Asaridonko's report where he actually showed where one government official who has, he does have the license to mine, but some of his machines were using illegal minerals in certain areas that were not supposed to be used in. What happened? It's part of the things that we are here today. We have to name and shame like JJA is saying, and of course, Probably state of emergency will help. Saka Salia, representing the NPP, has joined. Hi. Hey, open your jantua. No, so you know, you know, I was. So, I didn't, I didn't, no, I, I, I didn't turn open you. I only turned and I saw you. I'm like, oh my God. It's amazing for a young girl like you. <laughs> Say so you're 25. Can you please forgive me? Say so you're 25. She's 25, bro. Yes, and imagine. I'm, so, so I'm 70. <laughs> So, so I was fixated <laughs> on the lens. I didn't say I used when the point of no, <laughs> When me no. <laughs> Ope you call me Jan, so I Square, representing the CPP, has joined us. Hi, Ope you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, you too? Uh, mm. You finally have a flag bearer. You finally have a flag bearer? Yes, yes, you have a flag bearer. Yes. Do you have a running mate? You, you, you confirm your flag bearership once you... Register to the electoral commission, you know so? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, we have a flag bearer. We are waiting for the flag bearer to be official by the electoral commission. Okay. Once that happens, then we know. Which means you have not filed yet? I don't think we have filed. Okay. All right. But Penny, you are a leading member but of the party. But Penny, what about, what about running mates? They'll pick them. They'll pick, they'll pick the running mates. Okay. Are you not going? Why are you? Okay. <laughs> we just want to. But amazingly, I didn't know Kwame is not a running mate to our own Kwame journalist. 
It's not a running he's mate. He's a lawyer now. Yeah, no, he's a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, so he's not a running mate. Um, yeah, Alan Sherman. Alan Sherman thing. Yeah. yeah. I think he used to be with the Pan African. Who's yeah. the running mate to Alan Sherman? Um, his four, his Kwame. Uh, Kwame, Kwame Danso. Yeah, I think Kwame Danso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that he used to be a morning host for yeah. Pan African. Yeah. Where, anyway. Where is he from? Um, as in his. In terms of is he a Shanti? Is he... I don't know that. I don't know much about him. I'm yet to get to know more about him. I, I heard the news yesterday, so... I mean, will, that, it, that's, will, that's... It, will it go against Alan Chamartin for not doing what is normally done? Where you take uh, an, account from, an, account. an account from the south and the north and north. Will it affect him? I don't know. This election is going. This election is going to be very interesting. Very, very, very. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's, it's also good. Uh, let's take a look. There's a video that I want everybody to watch this morning. It's a sad video, and when you watch, you understand. But don't forget to send in your messages to us as well. We want to fight to Galamse together. Let's hear your voice this morning. Zero five five one five seven five seven five seven. Zero five five one five seven five seven five seven. Take a look at this video. The Minerals and Mining Act prohibits mining in settlements and in areas 50 meters from a public road. But in these Wasa towns of the western region, local authorities have allowed one of the worst examples of lawlessness in mining. This is not Galamseo. This is just some dig and wash. We don't have any links with the DCs. There are many types of Galamse. We have ones that require the involvement of a DC. But with this, even if you call the DC, he will say, leave them. They are just looking for chop money. The real Galam says ahead of you at Japa. Huge pits active with excavators and other mining equipment have taken over the main Dunkwao Ayamfri Road. Settlements in towns like Wasan Trinchuna, Japa and Wasa Adiemra have turned into mining sites. At Wasa Dadieso and Japa, we noticed a free-for-all unhinged Galamse endorsed by local authorities. Some illegal miners who were seen mining by the main road at Wasan Trinchuna justified their actions. Mind your business as you are working. Has anybody stopped you? Why should we stop? This is what we do and we don't have anything to do with the government. Should we pull guns to go on robbery for money? We work hard for our daily bread. We don't want to steal. We don't have any other option. They even disputed research that mining residue contains toxic substances that could affect their health. The one who initiated Galamse in this town is still alive. He is over 100 years old. We've done this for a long time now, but we haven't encountered any health problems. From our leaders to our time, we have not seen anyone get sick from Galamse. To them, it's all about survival. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, Kumasi. So, uh, Erastus Asaredonko for this report, and of course, it, it's an eye-opener report because we see exactly what is happening on the grounds where one gentleman is telling us that he doesn't want to go and steal, all he wants is food on his table and so he doesn't have a choice but to engage in this now let's not forget that ashanti youth some ashanti youth are calling for the heads of certain officials because they feel these officials are sitting aloof and doing nothing about galamsi they're talking about people who have been placed in positions to take care of our forests and our minerals they sit aloof do nothing and so they want them out of position. Now, let me start this conversation with uh, Richard Manorubi since he came in first. Now, Richard, uh, the state of Galamse is so bad now that we can't even politicize it anymore because it's like we all have to join forces to fight it. 
Rose, let me say good morning to you and good morning, Sophie, and good morning mm -hmm. to the, your, your child's business. And good morning to the good people from Quanta South constituency and Oti region as a whole. His Excellency, the incoming President of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, says as I say good morning to you. And remind you that on 17th of this month, every NDC member must, be, must go to the EC offices and demonstrate of their illegalities that they are doing. This election is about life. This election is about morality. This election is about bringing back and resetting this country and let us all build it together. So if somebody wants to find another way of rigging the election for anybody in this country, we will not allow it. We won't sit aloof for anybody. To this. And we want to assure Ghanaians that every Ghanaian vote will be counted. And at the end of the day, President John Dramani Mahama will be elected as the President of the Republic of Ghana and reset this country. And you're crying that today you are crying. When I saw you watch the video, I can, I can see the pains in you. A lot of Ghanaians at home, the same thing. We want to reset this country. We want to build a Ghana we want together. It's a collective responsibility that everybody must know. Whether you are CPP, whether you are PNC, whether you are whatever, the fact of the matter is that the party that can lead this nation and where we are now, we are in a crossroads. Ghana is in a ditch. And we need an experienced person like President John Dramani Mahama to hold the sword of this nation, have the authority of this country, and make Ghana works again. So if you're a Ghanaian at home and abroad, please come in and support. In any diverse way, let us win together. Let us reset this country together, and Ghana will work again. Don't be worried that much. As you saw the video, he said, we can't, we can't politicize it anymore. I'm a journalist myself. Nobody has ever politicized the Galamsey manners in this country. The journalists and, and politicians came together. There was a collective responsibility for us to fight Galamsey. That where the, we are going to Perisavi, we will not get water to drink. There are sicknesses that are coming. You know, most of the um, uh, uh, health conditions today that we have in some part of the country, uh, the, is that, those are the, the, the cause of the country. Recently, I was in, around uh, uh, Chufu Prasu to Ayamfuri. Then, and when I saw the water, the, the water, there's no water for them. The fact of the matter is that there's no water for them to even drink it again. They import water from Accra here and with huge amount of money to be Sorry, able to drink. Sorry, I didn't tell drink. you earlier. Now we give each person five minutes to make a point. So you've done... Uh, your greetings was two minutes, so you have four minutes to go. So Rosalind, minutes, Rosalind. Yes, but because you're my friend, we'll, we'll start from five minutes now. No, four. So, so Rosalind, we, nobody policy this um, Galamsey. The President of the Republic of Ghana and the MPP, you know, not Kwaku, the left, this, uh, promised that they were going to fight Galamsey. And we, I think got, the state have departed a lot of money to them. We started with Galam Stop, the tracking system, and whatever it is. And the President came to tell us that the fight of Galamsey, he was on top. And that's for him, he will fight, he will put it up his presidency in the limelight. I think you were, you were there. And these were the promises we have. Today, you can see it yourself. Galance has been everywhere in the country today. And amazingly, surprisingly, I've always used a, a place. I, I recently went to a place in Bandangkwan, I don't know, Green National Park. Even the forest reserve, the state reserve, wildlife guards are supervising illegal mining in the, in the area. And these are the problems we have. We are, we are living in an area where Government officials are also involved. So we in NDC and President John Dramani Mahama has taken his own the point clearly on fighting against this Galamsey that when we come to power, we are going to regularize the Galamsey, make sure that every regulation by the law will be, will, be, will, be, will be protected and our mining sectors will be protected. And we can assure you we have the capacity and we have been much interested. We, we have Ghanaians at heart and we'll do it. I think GJA has made a clear point of the repeal of LI 2462, uh, which allow uh, people to uh, go into foreign, for, uh, foreign reserve areas and mind. We are calling the, for the repeal. It's a super idea. And I think that if the president really wants to fight Galamsey, now I think UTAC is saying, is it TUC? UTAC, TUC. UTUC and all that resistance. So we, if he wants to fight the Galamsey, he should put, he should put the government official online because we, we've seen most of his parliamentary candidates and even the regional minister was sitting in there. And he said, if any security officer a security person that comes to them and look for food and they should give them. But if you come to attack them, they should attack them back. You saw it in part of, I think it was the central, uh, West, western region. That's yes, a parliamentary you. candidate, an MPP parliamentary candidate, together. MPP parliamentary candidate said it categorically, clearly called uh, Galams, Galamsayers and told them that if any security being a policeman or a military man comes to the site 
and he's looking for fuel to buy, they want fuel to give them. I haven't seen that. But, oh, no, he's, he, he was even arrested. I mean, in fact, that's a, okay. that's a fact. But if they, they, they attack any, uh, if they attack, they should attack them back. So the government does not have the will to fight Galamsey. And that's the problem in which we are. We spend a lot of money in this country in fighting Galamsey. We live in this country where security personnel were shot dead. Go and look at the kidney issues in those, uh, some areas. Go and look at liver issues in this because of, that, uh, because of the mine, mine, mining areas. So we need to take a critical look at it. I will support the call. And I know the NDC and the, uh, the NDC also support the call that the fight of Gal Galamsey must be regulated well and make sure that all these things must stop. All right. Uh, let me bring uh, opinion Jan to our uh, before, before that, let me welcome Saka Salia, uh, yeah. who is representing the NPP. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Rosalie. Great. It's good to have you I'm here. Well. Thanks. Fantastic. I'll come to you for your okay. thing. All but right. uh, let me go to opinion Kwame Chantua. Opinion Kwame Chantua. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Nyahota Maklo speak two days ago, and he says that if military wants to stop Galamse, they can stop it within a week. But for political intervention or for political interference, let me use that word for political interference, and that is why they are not able to fight Kalamse. Do you agree with him? Good morning. Good morning to our viewers. Good morning to my fellow panelists. We have five minutes. So, I'll go so you do you do seven first, and then two first, and then your five into your topic. Um. It is now obvious that the depletion of our forest cover is rapid. The destruction of our water bodies is unprecedented. Our entire ecosystem is on the precipice. Is that true or false? Is that true or false? Is that a true or false statement? Mm. It's true. It's a true statement. So we now see the thinking of the president from do I use the word honorable? Well, that's their title, though. Mm. Do I use the word honorable? It's, it's a title that okay. we have decided. From honorable Abujinapo, that if we ban small scale mining, mm -hmm. it's going to affect the economy. What did they tell us during COVID? They know how to bring the economy back, but they don't know how to bring what? Life, life back. back. Is this not affecting life? The statement I just read. Is it not affecting life? And it's not only affecting those in the Galamse areas, affecting the whole Ghana. So, maybe they are prepared for us to die. Maybe. That is what it is. They are prepared for us to die. And if you listened to Utumfo, remember, Utumfo held back from being the arrowhead leading Galamse. If you listen to how he spoke, there is an arrowhead in this country a leader called His Excellency William Nana Aku, Danko Akufuado. Why is he silent? Do you understand why the president is silent on this? Why is he silent? The president is silent on this because of jobs. The president is silent on this because his own people are part and parcel of it. Wouldn't, Galamse, wouldn't it finish the whole of Ghana? Will it not? What are the, 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 the three main things that sustain life? Water, air, and food. Air, water, and food are being affected by what? Galamse. Mm -hmm. And we are doing nothing about it. We are happy about it. Is that what it is? That the ruling party, who we've given you the mandate to supervise over the country's natural resources, the country's finances, we are sitting idle. This government, there are two things that they have failed on, Galamsey and the economy. Are we not back at IMF? And tell me, why is it that, have we sorted Galamsey? When the president, I'm putting my presidency on the line. Did he literally mean it, or was it just a facade? Or he said it just to what, toy with us? But two years ago, he did say that he lost some votes in these areas because he put his presidency on and, the line. And, and that is where, which comes first? You see, this particular uh, regime have turned our politics over its head. Why? They brought political parties first, their party first before country. At this crucial point, where everybody is telling you, if you don't do something about it, we are going to put a standstill in this country. Okay, you have a minute to go. Though. There's nothing he's doing. What is it? 
So I'll be right to say that both Vice President Baumia and uh, President Nanado have been incompetent where Galamse is concerned. Incompetent. Is, uh, what do you call it, uh, Vice President Baumia, is he speaking with the president today, his boss? Is he speaking with him? Is he telling him, boss, this thing, where it's going, let's do something about it. Has he even spoken about it? He's telling us his vision. You are still vice president. You are acting today. You are still working today. And you're telling us what? So we should die. And far more, because as somebody said, they are drinking imported water. They are bathing with imported water. They are cooking with imported water. So the rest can go to hell, hmm. unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, um, for uh, Sakasalia, Rosalie. Your government is in power. Yes. And of course, everybody is calling for an action. When is this action going to happen? Because there are so many institutions that are calling for state of emergency. Utah gets threatened strike. TUC has joined their voices. GIG has joined a voice. Uh, Ghana Catholic bishops have joined the voice. When are we hearing the president speak about it? Or even the vice president speak about it? When are we seeing an immediate action? Yeah, thank you very much, Rosalind, and good morning to my co-panelists. Good morning. Who have been to my, my two brothers. <laughs> morning. Lord <laughs> and then the mischief, Richard. Oh, look at you. And good morning to your good self, Rosalind. Morning. My neighbor. My neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm also, I'm also a neighbor. It, yes, neighbor, neighbor. Yeah. But, Saka, you have uh, seven minutes. To okay, report. all right. But a very good... A big good morning to Elijah Mahmoud Baumia, the flag bearer of the MPP, and the incoming president of Ghana. <laughs> Inshallah. Has he filed? He has to yeah. please. Go he ahead did. and make it. He did answer. before any other. Saka, person. if you don't ignore him, you have just. Oh, yeah, don't worry. So don't worry. I can't contain him. Yeah, so, um, Galem C, I have always been saying that it has become a hard headed problem on our head or on us. It's a problem that is refusing to go, despite whatever that we do. It's just akin to armed robbery that we've been fighting ages, or people who engage in cocaine, that despite the fact that the risk involved is so high, they are determined to do whatever it takes to achieve in their trade despite the fact that those trees are unlawful and government over the years have always fought them. Because Galam say trade is such a lucrative venture to the extent that the operators are ready to venture, no matter the consequence, because of the money that, it comes, that comes with it. Mm -hmm. Because anybody who had ever done Galam say you cannot do any other job anymore. I'm telling you, Rosalind, if you have done Galam, say you won't come and sit here. They and, have and, risked their lives, and you're saying that if they get comfortable job, that they are not risking their lives, they will not stop. Yeah, they are risking their life. But you see, the, 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 when they win, anytime they get the, the good, they forget that they even risk their life. That is the reason why governments over the years have fought it but could not succeed. The MPP government, when we assume power, we all know, I mean, these, these, are, these are common knowledge. This is a common knowledge to everybody. We fought the Galamse to the nail. We ensured that there was a suspension, a meritorium on small-scale uh, 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 operators. Whether legal or illegal, everybody was supposed to stop so that we take that period to ensure that we look into, the, into how best we can go about this whole thing. The number one thing that we did was to give them alternative livelihood. You know, the alternative livelihood project. We took some of the Galamseyes to uh, University of Mines and Technology and trained them, thousands of them, so that they can engage in alternative livelihood. Some of them have been put in those, those areas. But I'm saying that we formed the interministerial committee yep. to look into the matter because the Galamse matter having transcend one ministry, 
you have the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, you have the Ministry of Defense, we have the Ministry of, I mean, various ministries, so that everybody can bring his input. Everybody would have a stick, who has a stick, would be able to bring an input so that we see how best we do. Knowing very well the devastating effect of Galamsey. And we know, I mean, we did what we could by the uh, uh, Galam store. What you could, you are still in power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but as of now, up to this point, we, we know of the, 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 the Operation Vanguard 1 and 2, the Galam Stop Operation, but the use of drones to ensure and then bringing... Peter says Gal um, Operation Vanguard is a failure. Who? Peter. Who's no problem. I mean, that's their opinion. But I'm saying that we did all these things. But still, these recalcitrant and intransigent individuals still, you know, uh, 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 operate those streets. I remember at a point, Joe Saibusu, who was a second, who is the second deputy speaker, was even saying that we should we should shoot to kill because the government actually meant the clamp down on these individuals. We did all that. We know the devastating effect of Galamse on our environment. For that one, I don't think that anybody can educate anybody on those those things. The effect on the environment, the effect on agriculture, because uh, uh, cocoa land is being used you have a minute, for, 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 for this and all that. As we fought, and the president, to the extent that the president has to put his presidency on the line, you did not I am saying line. that the president fight against Galamse was not just cosmetic, was not cosmetic at all. The hypocrisy has to come from the NDC. I mean, look. The media. Wait, wait, wait. It's, you have a minute to go, but one, once you bring that Yeah, yeah. So, so let me, let me okay. once I bring it, I will substantiate yeah. it. I'm saying that the media, for instance, did a coalition, had a coalition to ensure that we fought Galamsey. The chiefs and people did. Political parties who are big stakeholders without NDC, because, I mean, they have over 5 million voters the last time. And therefore, if they are not committed to helping the ruling government, whatever that we do will be counterproductive because the other side is not in sync with what we are doing. What, what happened? You see, anytime you hear the NDC, anytime the NDC accuses, it is a confession. If NDC says this what is... Has, what has the NDC got to do with it? No, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining. But unfortunately, your time is... I'm, no, 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 let me, let me land on... We are, let, seeing, we are seeing the effect Let me land on that. And all we are hearing is... NDC. What oh, no, 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 no. With what we see no, on the screen today. Let me land there so that. Show you the screen. Rosalie, let me land. Let me land. So, when the government was fighting the Galamseyers, the NDC, who will come on this platform and talk as if they care, will go and tell them that if you people vote for uh, John Dramani Mahama and he comes, this is what you're going to do. You can go back to do your, your, your Galamsey work. That is the hypocrisy that I'm talking about. Let me show and if you, you have a political party let me show you something. as hypocritical as let me show, they are, your time is up. the let fight me show you. will not be no, won. No, let me show you this. Do you see, this morning, what I'm showing you right now is now. It is not yesterday. Life. It's not two days ago. In real time. Real time. Ancobra. Mm -hmm. This is Ancobra. Yes, I, I, I've seen it. Good. I'm, yeah, you, you, you are part of <laughs> the, the reason. You remember even the, the professor you. from Pong Barton report? When, you he that mentioned that the NBC wait, engaged in more galamsey no, than the MPP. No, wait. wait. When, wait. So, Saka, so you cause it. Saka, relax, please. Rosalie, I don't know why you're no, asking no, this I, where, where I, I, we, we are, we are no, all aware no, of see, this. Thing. No, no, it's not about we are all aware of it. We look at these areas. We look at how bad it is. Absolutely. Oh, it's so bad. And that is the reason it's why we so are looking bad. for solutions. But you see, when you are looking for solutions... And solution, people should stop the hypocrisy. You start, you start, you start, so you start when they pointing. stop the hypocrisy... Okay, your time is up. It is a solution. Let me go to the but, next... But, but, Let me go but, to but, Richard, because he started. But, and I have a few questions. Richard, um... But to be unfair, if you, you are getting uh, a line... No, he's... Because. But you are here to defend it. Yes, So, so, so yeah. go ahead and defend. Yeah. So, so <laughs> if you sit here and tell us that the NDC are the cause of... You are the only The cause of the failure of Galamsey. No. You, you just mentioned a categorical. You set up an interministerial committee on illegal money, didn't you? We did. You also set up. And he had a, who was the secretary of the interministerial committee? You go on. Who was, you want to talk, so I should not be the one giving you information. So, 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 so Saka and... Uh, the president um, was taking bribe. 
Oh, bribes like this. Go who and who ask, gave him that bribe? And ask, and ask caught him on a video. Mm. So, no, no, no. You, that, that's not bribe. You were there when, when, when your, the chairman of the intermediate committee said... If somebody's holding money, that means your general bribe. secretary, that part in Yaska, you remember who the Who gave in the secretary you, the money? Your galam, say, you, I, I didn't even know that you took a party but you went trained to illegal mining. You just said it here. That was... That you took them to... Uh, uh, an investor of mine, so come and go and involve in it. When to go and watch. Uh, the, yes. What are they doing? Right, gentlemen. What are they doing now? So you are doing community mining now. So let me if you are, no, wait. if you no, know, but you should tell us I can know. If your president has failed as a president of the republic, and your your people, you people are involved in Galamse and you were caught. Today you come to sit here and say, oh, because NDC have five million people, and people voted for them, and then if you don't support, you don't support the NDC. No, the hypocrisy must stop. stop. We have been. You can't come and sit here and, and preach virtue and the go there that, and practice the vice. The reality is that you are involved in Galamse. Some of your DCs, even your minister, local government minister, then said some of your MMDCs, regional ministers, are involved in Galamse. Is there anything government? Are we government officials? Why didn't you Why question you from Pombasi report you when he said that the NDC engaged in Galamse more than even you the NDC? You are leading. You are leading the country to a ditch. If you care to know, we have a less than 90, 90, 90, 90. So it doesn't matter. For you to go back home, we will reform this country. That's what I told you that. We will reset this country and build a Ghana we want to get. Stop that hypocrisy. It's like a young man. Stop it. Don't help. <laughs> God, when an issue. No, no. So you have two minutes to land. No, so when there are uh, issues of national concern, and we sit here, we are bringing, we are going to find solutions to, so to resolve this kind of death and things that are happening. Whilst your government officials are involved, Instead of you to sit here and name them and shame them for your government to be, be able to function, your vice president is running away from Galamsey. What are you not talking about Galamsey? The president is running away from Galamsey. Like, your mama talking about Galamsey. Regional ministers are running away hey, from Galamsey. President Mama talking about Why are they running for, around for Galamsey? Because they are involved in Galamsey. Look, sir, he, as he's saying, Saka is an expert in Galamsey. Who? Because I just told you, I said, anybody that does Galamsey job will not, have it, will not want to do any work because you are a practical one because you know how it works. And that is why, because you have boys working there. So that is why I so have a minute to go, though. So I beg you, Saka, it's a very big concern that people are suffering from kidney issues. People are importing water to drink. Jobs are lost. Cocoa, cocoa trees have been calcared down. These are the things we are looking at. These are the, well, what we want to find solution to. And for you to sit here, suddenly and shamefully, mention this to us. Is that the solution you have for them? Say, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. The NDC will come. When the NDC <laughs> comes, the MPP collaborate with us. Will to find All right. Thank you, Richard. Uh, open you. Let me read a portion of Professor Frempon Boateng's report. report. And I read this to bring out what they tried to do and how we got into certain places. Then I'll land on LI 2462. Two, 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 and I, I quote, he said, it is extremely important to note that the IMC-IMS activities centered on small scale and artisanal gold mining. Listen to the words. This task was performed to near perfection. At the time of the inauguration of the committee, the problem of mining in forest reserves and its attended destruction of forests cuckoo farms, water bodies, farmlands, as well as harassment of villagers in bordering communities by armed mining guards, including soldiers, were not on the radar screen. As will be mentioned later in this write-up, the major challenges that we had in the mining communities occurred in 2018, mm. when the Forestry Commission and Ministry of Lands itself decided to give out almost all the forest reserves in this country for mining activities. Forestry Commission, mm -hmm. Ministry of Lands. Goes on. This was reported to Cabinet at its meeting on 28th February 2019. Despite the fact that Cabinet directed the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources to suspend the issuance of all new licenses permitted by the Forestry Commission, and also to suspend the licenses already issued for operation in 47 forest reserves, the directives were ignored and the destruction continued. Why? Worse still, soldiers had officially been withdrawn from mining sites. Why? But in many areas, regular Ghana Army personnel were seen providing security at illegal mining sites. Mm. What saddened me most 
was when Mr. Gabi Asari Ochedaku called to defend a company that was actively destroying the environment, especially the forest and river of Finn in the Aprampram and Krobu forest. So cabinet was aware of this. Mm -hmm. Let's say they went aware of it in 2016. They went aware of it in 2017. In 2018. 2018, they were aware of it. Then the LI got passed. The, the LI got passed. And it says the Forestry Commission and the Lands Ministry. Who was Minister of Lands and Natural Resources at that time? Hmm. Amewu. Amewu. LI 2462. Is the NDC not guilty of that hmm. act? When they in parliament when it was passed. Mm -hmm. Couldn't anybody stop? Well, you had minority. Whatever the case whatever I mean, is. Whatever the case is. Whatever the case is. Wait, wait, wait. Whatever the case is. What did you do to stop, stop it? Stop the LI from being passed. No, but you require, you require, even you even on this platform. What did you do? On this platform. I look, wait, when your time is up, you can parcel of parliament. Mm. It's not like that you were sitting outside. Did you walk out? Did you walk out? Did you say this one, we are not going to be part and parcel of it. We are minority, so we are working out. Did you work out? If you worked out, we'll be sitting here saying LI2424. You tried to pass it, but the NDC yeah. worked out because they went in agreement with it. Mm. And we, we've seen the stories accumulate, accumulate where we are now. The citizens of Ghana have had to take the responsibility to push a president who has been voted by the people to act. Does it make sense to you? This is not the future of me. Mm. It's the future of our children's 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 yet to come. It has been proven, and I heard one environmental uh, 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 professor talk about the impact of, uh, what do you call it, um, cyanide and mercury on the soil. Yeah. It takes 3,000 years yeah. to recover. Mm -hmm. In water, it takes a thousand years. Generations would have come and gone before. Why are we spoiling our country? Mm. Yeah. And and one of the Many major one, one of the major Many. challenges. Why? And if you uh, uh, interview a lot of these garamsiers, jobs. Have they been able to create jobs? This government. Well, they say they've created two million jobs. From where? From where? Why are people doing garamsi? Yes, there's an attraction there. Are you trying to tell me they couldn't stop it? But, 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 the will isn't there. When the president said he's put his presidency on the line, Saka, he should come and explain Saka, to us what he meant by that. Saka says the most, one of the lucrative jobs. Okay. So, um, mm. uh, uh, <laughs> but he said so, one so, of the oh, lucrative oh, jobs. Please, please, please. please. Oh, I mean, Richard, everybody let Saka knows make that. his point, please. The fact, that, the fact of the matter is that it's not as if... When we are, it's not as if when we are looking for solutions, we want to turn the whole thing into... NDC and people. But you started it. Oh, please, let me explain. I'm saying that. Maybe I mentioned that. But some people will take, will mistaken that as you come here to accuse your, 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 your opponent instead of giving a solution. That is not the issue. Because when I came, and as he is sitting here, he's talking so passionately as if given the opportunity, they would do something extraordinary. As if they love Ghana more than us. That's the reason why I said that if we want solution to this problem, we all know, I mean, what is going on. I mean, it's something that we all must have concerted effort in order to win. And therefore, if we have a, a section, a large section of stakeholders who will come and sit here and pretend to be fighting it, but behind the facade, they are down there encouraging Galam Sayers it will be counterproductive. Mm. That's the reason why I'm mentioning the NDC. If not, why would I even come here and mention them? But when they come here and then try to portray a certain picture and go down there and do otherwise, it, it, it is a problem. Saka, you don't, you don't, and I'm for, saying... For, for people watching this morning, the first thing they'll say is that, yes, your points are well noted, but your government is in power. Yes. If you know there's any NDC person who is doing this, why haven't you... Oh, no, no, there are many NDC people way? doing this. Why haven't you arrested? No, because you are no, fighting. No, but, but, but if you tell the world that I'm oh. going to school, I'm mm. putting my life on the line to become a medical doctor, and you don't become a medical doctor, you are not a doctor. You told Ghanaians that is you he, were going to fight Ghanaians. Is he... As of now, it's worsened. And so yeah, yeah. your fight hasn't been fought. No, 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 no. You can fight and still lose or even draw. So when you draw in a fight, that doesn't mean you haven't fought. No, no, no. If you fight, if you fight 
and you, you draw, it doesn't mean you didn't fight. Or even if you fight, so, so, you lose. So it was a failure. But so are you saying I am what saying, you started as a failure? No, 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 no. I don't want to, okay. I don't want to you know, declare but what happened. You. But I'm saying mm. that we fought. The NDC equally fought. But their, their effort was not good enough. And then we came. And when we came, we also fought. I mean, we fought more than they did. Everybody knows that. But your condition is worse. Yes. The condition is worse because of the brazen impunity of those who are doing the work. And I'm saying that based on even uh, uh, from Pom Barton's report, the from Pom Barton's report says that there are many people in, uh, from the NDC who engage in Galamse than from the NDC. Why haven't you arrested them? Every, I'm, I mean, no, listen, 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 listen. listen. Every, everybody, including uh, Lord Gentua sitting here, I've never he heard him quote that before. They, they normally come here and quote with red pen the places that will make government look bad. But they never quoted where it would make the opposition look bad. Huh. And that is another hypocrisy what that we talk I about. Said about. But two, I, I'm, two, four, I'm six, saying, six, four. what I am saying is that the uh, Baumia government is coming with a, 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 a rigorous force to ensure that we nip this thing in the bad once and for all. He comes with, with he, he, he's telling us, right now, those who engage in small-scale farming will be said that they will not just go and then just and, and go and be doing trial and error on every environment that is given that concession is given to them. What we are doing, the geological department will do a, 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 a targeting. They will ensure that anywhere that you go to mine, they would have been hundred percent assurance that you will get it, so that you will not go and be and be, and be spoiling the environment around. What are you the second thing is that we are coming with uh, uh, the mineral development bank. That will ensure that, I mean, uh, uh, responsible <laughs> Ghanaians <laughs> who engage in small scale are people the water who is have the with that. I'm asking. telling you. The water is so, so, you see, the, the fact is that, you see, we cannot just say, we cannot just say that nobody should mine anymore. Because that in itself will be a national security problem. Because people are looking for jobs. And what, can, what will you do? The only thing that you do is that, let people in, 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 in engage in responsible mining, as we are doing now with community mining. And I'm saying that with, with, with all these things, coupled with the experience that we have in the fight against Galamse in the past, your Ghana will be better for it than the hypocritical. Because look at even your, your Obama time, himself. Your time is up. Your as time as is a up. president, so you go and say that Saka, you will free Galamse. Please yes. respect my timing. Thank you very much. And um, for, for all of us here, uh, not just even on prime morning, but as Ghanaians, what we are looking for is a solution. We are not looking at party name calling. We are looking for a solution this morning. How do we fight it? Now, we've had a lot of bodies calling on state of emergency. We are hearing that not just state of emergency. UTAG is threatening uh, you know, to go on strike. TUC is threatening to go on strike. We've had Dr. Nyahota Maklo say that if not for interference from government, military can stop it so why don't we see if military can stop it why don't we allow military to do the work as of now as of this morning say i'm not interfering again military do your work let's see if it's going to work because as we sit now the dire consequences we are going through it, it now it's not even consequence it's dire because we are there we are there and so this party thing and this party did this and this party did this i don't know where this is coming from we can fight it if you're in power and you can call state of emergency, call it now. Let's do it. If it will take three months to hold, solve, and then go back into fixing things, do it. Let's see what messages we have, please. Okay, so we are going to take messages. I want to say a very big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise for always and always and always, uh, you know, having our backs during News Flat segment and for you as well who's also with us. Uh, if you want to uh, get any gadgets of your choice, just go to Franco Trading Enterprise for your gadgets, whether mobile phones, television sets, CCTV cameras, and even many more. We've got all of them for you. You can visit our shops or you can download the app on your phone, Franco Trading app, or you can go onto our website for further inquiries, www.francotradingenterprise.com. Franco Trading Enterprise still for prepare fear. All right, so let's see the messages that are coming in this morning. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to try. <laughs> wow. All right. So I'm going to try. So I'll, I'll start with this. 
I'll start with this one. Okay, so, ooh, it's, it's not easy when you have to. <laughs> Touch screen is not easy. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. All right, good morning, Rosalyn, and to Western Regional Minister. Okay, I dare the NDC to organize a national demonstration against Galamse. They did the same thing in 2020, causing the MPP to lose all seats in mining area. MPP is the only government that was bold to declare war on Galamse. No one defends the destruction of our water bodies. However, measures will be put in, in place to solve it. It is coming from Richard. Good morning, Rosalind. Uh, the president put his presidency on the line and he lost the Galamse fight, so he must resign. The Ghana police and the military can only brutalize Ghanaians on election day, but fail to use the same energy to stop the Galamse. In fact, a vote for Baumia and Napo will be an endorsement for Galamse. But up till now, the 500 escalators or excavators uh, cannot be found. Meanwhile, we have securities in this country from Solomon Zenu Martin Luther. Uh, good morning, fellow Ghanaians, uh, more especially His Excellency John Romani Mahama, Mama Jane, and Asamojan. Hey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is not about my topic this morning, so please stick to my topic for me. Good morning, Rosalind. Uh, NDC has money to give journalists money to talk about Galam. So just three months of election, like what they did in 2020. I'm sorry, darling. Nobody's given any journalist any money. We see the consequence of Galamse. Just two weeks ago, we saw Ghana Water write a whole, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, I, I, it's not an article. They, they, they brought us, uh, you know, a, a, I don't even know, sometimes when you, a, a press release, good. <laughs> sometimes you get lost when you're you are, you are talking about things that you care so much about. There was a presser, Mr. Mr. Fifi, there was a presser on the fact that a whole place like Cape Coast, which was the former capital of Ghana here, cannot have access to portable water because of Galamse. Which journalist was paid for this? This is not propaganda. This is what is on the ground. <laughs> and we have to fight it. So if you're thinking because of election, we won't talk about it, we'll talk about it. Um, and so he continues to say, um, I also dare the NDC to organize a nationwide demonstration against Galamse. Okay. Please, good morning. My name is Mbemba Paul from Ashoman Estate, and I am 18 years of age. Please, I want to come to your game show hosted by George. Okay, that is not our topic for today. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Small, small. You know, people are watching it, so... Good morning, Rosalind. And to your team of panelists, please, Rose, I want you to pick out a specific task for me regarding the fight against Galamse. The task is a leader crusade to ask President Ekufuado about his promise of putting his presidency on the line for fighting Galamse. What becomes of that promise? And now that the fight is not fighting, but rather getting worse by day from Haj Hassan Tamale. Good morning, Rosalind. In fact, the, this Galamse issue is a threat to human life. The early we fight or we act uh, the better for all of us. I think it's time to ban it now, now, now. Greetings to my sister, Zanetta Rowland. Okay. Hmm. This, this, this thing, eh? You're moving, they need to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Rash uh, Chacha. All right. Galamse will be a thing of past when we vote massively for NDC and visionary leader John Dramani Mahama to come and rescue us from NPP led by Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. This Galamse is no political fight. Trust me. This Galamse goes beyond politics. Good morning, Madam Hose. I'm Abdul Latif from Elembele. Galamse is a national canker which affects everybody and even the future generation. Madam Hose, until we remove political influence, the fight against illegal mining, Galamse would not go anywhere, frankly speaking. Look at how our forests and the lands are destroyed in the name of Galamse. Say illegal mining. Ghanaians are yearning for John Dramani Mahama to come rescue, reset the country again come 7th January. Uh, good morning, Madam. We Ghanaians waited too long before race. Good morning, Pio Sahaji. Must be arrested. <laughs> The media did not talk about Galamse in 2012 and 2016 during the elections month, but NDC used the media as two. Please, today, I don't know who is uh, um, letting you people send these messages, but I'm wondering if you are not seeing what is happening. Unless you tell me that you, you, you are wearing party colors this morning, and so you are coming at the media or journalists because we are talking about a situation that you and I are being affected. Remember, now, if you are giving back to children born with cleft, if you are, you are actually, you know, <coughs> facing liver, kidney issues, it has nothing to do with your party color, my darling. Your party has nothing to do with it. So the earlier we fight it, the better for all of us. There's nothing to do with journalists and MPP and NDC here. We are fighting and we'll fight a good fight for all of us and our children.
Alhassan Sisi from Zenu Central says that this current president, Anay Kufuado Belmia government, has demonstrated clearly to Ghanaians that they can't fight Kalamse because they are the biggest beneficiary of the deadly kanka. The president put in his presidency on, on the line to fight Kalamse was the biggest political scam to Ghanaians. Good morning to all the institutions who are saying it's Let's stop illegal mining. I do think our leaders think of us. How much do we get from Galamse? The minister said they can't stop mining and it will rather collapse our economy. MPP ministers are disgracing us. All uh, of this must stop or all of this will stop. Okay. Well, you don't like to use that word. Which one? No. Live TV, no. Unless I say no sense. Yes. I don't like to use... It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, no Rosalie, good morning. Uh, please ask the NDC man if he has seen the video of NDC executive asking people to do the Galamse and JM promising people when he come to power to release all the people who have been arrested because of Galamse. I think he has not seen that video. If he has seen it, that, then it's a shame for him to talk like that. We should not use Galamse in our dirty politics as a fight for all Ghanaians. Nana Usugos. So, hmm, so these, uh, th that's why we have to try and desist from these political gimmicks because politicians who keep on talking about Galamse, they come in and they don't fight it. It takes you and I to fight Galamse. From Georgia, Kwa Madam Hose is Galamse for oil, not gold for oil. That Belmia claims is his baby. How much gold can be bought from legal sources? All is from Galamse source. Galamse for oil, ba Belmia's baby. How much money is Ghana no, even getting from even the legal it's most mining? Most clearly it's not Galamse. So slumps, uh, I, I don't know how... You know, the Galamse doesn't, it's not like the large scale. So I don't know how much you make out of Galamse to use for gold for oil policy. Al Haji Hamza Pig Farm, good morning, Rosalind. It's time to stop beating the bush and call a spade a spade. President Anado should be held responsible for what is going on in this country when it comes to Galamse. President Anado told us that he was ready to put his presidency on the line in the fight against Galamse, but the same president turns around and passed the LI 2462 to allow mining in our forest reserves. Who, who does that? Um, the statement issued yesterday from the Lands and Natural Resources is an insult and a slap in the face of Ghanaians. We voted for President Anado with all powers and authority for him to protect us, but not to kill us. Have you seen the president come out to address the nation? He does not care. My sister, kindly read a statement from the fourth estate and you see how top officials in NPP are involved in Galamse. I'm sad this morning and my heart bleeds for this nation. It's not just top officials from even the NPP. Like I said, <laughs> there is more... There are a lot of politicians involved in this, and you'll be amazed, even their party colors. It, will, it might not even be just NDC or MPP. <laughs> they are, you know these small, small political parties? There are some of them involved in it, trust me. Rosalind, good morning. No political party can stop Galamse. We're missing the conversation. We should rather talk about preventing Galamseas from working on our water bodies and forest reserves. This whole talk about government arresting innocent people working at the Galamse site and not going after the big men, big women behind it, to me, neither here nor there. The so-called big men are not seen at the Galamse site when security personnel go to the site. As the workers destroying our water and forests who are seen there, obviously, they'll be arrested and they can they can then direct the officers to their bosses if they so wish. If someone sends you to perpetrate illegality, you should be ready for outcome for the outcome in engaging in such acts. Good morning, Rosalind. I believe illegal mining is not good work, especially doing it at the riverside, and we must all condemn it. But the question is why the call now? The so media uh, coloration against Galamse, where were they in 2020 when Anado was fighting this Galamse and John Mahama and his team were campaigning at the same site? They didn't condemn. We believe that is an agenda to paint MPP black for NDC to come to power. We are not going to ban them today nor tomorrow. Did you say you're not going to ban them? He's not an official. Uh, read the top one. Okay. Uh, are you directing what to read? No, so... She's not him. No, no, so... <laughs> this, I, I, I'm just saying that... You're not going to ban the well, I'm saying the person who said he's not an official. He's not an so, official. Yeah. But for uh, Kweku Bako Jr., please... The government is fighting Galamse. So we don't know your particular. I don't know if you, you are even sending this message from Ghana. But if you live in Ghana, you won't send a message like that. Trust me. But let people know it's not the, no, the real Kukubaku. That's why I said we don't. We don't. This is Kukubaku Junior something something. Oh, no, no. It's not, it's not the main Kukubaku. That's what um, I want. Everybody knows. Yeah. Greetings, Joy Prime. It was very surprising when Nana Jantua will sit on your show and take all the blame to the government, especially mention the president's name as well as the vice president. Let me ask him, what input has him and his party uh, done for the government 
uh, okay. What input has he, the Brofono, it's not Brofoin, input has he done and his party done if the government hadn't, haven't done his part right? Okay. Open you, you understand the English now. I don't okay. understand the English. No, so trying to understood. say what input have you it's, put in there yeah, in the party if the NPP party? Power? Okay, as President Kufuado and Dr. Baumia, the only person in Ghana who can stop Galamse, he should understand that he or has also failed as a citizen. He can't sit on any platform and talk and talk as if he's saying something good. He should stop the hatred because he cannot become a president. Nana Guna Suedu, but Nana Guna Suedu, you and I cannot declare state of emergency. You know, you mm. and I cannot instruct, uh, you know, the military to act. You and I can not uh, instruct seizing of excavators. It's not possible. We can talk, but we have a limit. There are authorities that can go beyond that. And that's why we are talking and putting pressure for them to listen and act. Do you want me to add to it? Yeah, you want to say something? What rules the president? Constitution of this country. What does the constitution say? Go to uh, uh, 31.9. Let me read 31.9. It says, the circumstances under which a state of emergency may be declared under this article include a natural disaster and any situation in which any action is taken or is immediately threatened to be taken by any person or body of persons which is calculated or likely to deprive, to deprive the community of the essentials of life. Is this not depriving the community of essentials of life? Renders necessary the taking of measures which are required for securing the public safety, the defense of Ghana, and the maintenance of public order and of supplies and services essential to the life of the community. Did we not vote for a president? Did we not say, Nana Kufuado, from what you told us, we are voting for you to come and control the country? Did we not? Is he not the arrowhead? Am I the arrowhead? So Is my part. Wait, wait. Is I'm doing my citizens' <laughs> act yeah. here. Go to 41F. I'm doing you, my you citizens' see your responsibilities. act here. If for nothing at all, I'm not quiet sitting in my bedroom lamenting. I'm talking for people to hear that the president is not performing his duty. To your the satisfaction. The per to uh, Ghana's satisfaction. Look. He's performing. Look. Look. Look at that picture. Look. Is this what Ghana should be? Look. If for anything at all, eh? If the president came and said to us, Reason, where look, is this? I'm ready, I'm if ready. We can, can we put this on the screen? Please? Where is this? Let me finish. Why? When you're Wait. talking, I was quiet. Oh, okay. This is actually what... If the president is. came and said to us, look, I'm ready to ban small-scale mining and all this eh, for certain duration. Let's reset small-scale mining. Let's see how best we can organize. There's money to be made. There's employment in there. Let's see how we reset it. And resetting it, let's bring everybody together to decide how we move forward. Look, everywhere in Ghana is covered with gold. And it, it beggars belief why we haven't, as a nation, been able to look at how we use this resource to back our government. Go to South Africa. Go to South Africa. See what gold has done to South Africa. Why aren't we doing it here? A minute more. Why aren't we doing it here? Because of personal interest, because of selfishness, because of greed, and because we do not respect the people who vote us into power. If we respected the people who vote us into power, there's certain things we won't do. But President Nanado, you are in power. Vice President Baumia, you are in power. Do something before you move out of power. If for nothing at all, start the process for somebody else to come and continue. Okay. Yeah, Rosalind. You to return? Yeah, Rosalind. I, I don't think that. Sometimes I, I read your the text messages and some people try to, you know, downplay some of our contributions and all that. You see this picture that you put put out there. Mm. Immediately, if somebody sees it, it will say that this is illegal and all those things. For all you know, this is a small scale mine. How? Oh, wait, let me finish. How? Wait, well, let me finish. What do you mean by how? Saka. How? Let me finish. Small scale mining is supposed to be controlled. It's supposed to be controlled. Now you come and tell me my Saka. It's supposed to be controlled. Let Saka make it. Let me finish. Nobody can say this is a small scale mine. How can be this small scale mining? How is small scale mining done? It's controlled. By what? It's controlled. So they have rules and rules. Listen, listen. Where's small scale mining? Is he 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 I can understand. I can understand the reason why people want to play on people's sensibilities. 
sentiment because Galam C has a devastating effect on you don't our live health, in Ghana. our environment and everything. You don't live in Ghana. Then people can just go and take pictures and come and see. Don't Look, ah, oh, let me finish, please. If not, you won't talk. Please. So let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish, please. Richard, let, let me start. finish. Let him learn. Saka, make let me point. finish. Saka, please make a point. I'm making a point. Because in Ghana, small scale mining is, 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 is legal. Farm, uh, 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 mining uh, uh, within a water body, about 100 meters within the water bodies. It's, it's not illegal. Really? Oh, yes. Really? Yes. It's not legal. Go, go and see the, uh, so uh, this the water is commission. So, so please, 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 please. So this let is me, legal. Let you let him make his point. Why are you doing that? You don't let me, I can Saka, 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 I can Saka, make your point. Don't I'm worry. making a point. And please, go ahead. You don't, you are, you are just heckling me. Oh. As if you, Saka, make your, more, Saka, make your point, Listen Listen the other. Yes. I'm saying that if you are mining less than 100 meters within a water body, that is legal, illegal. But if you are mining away from that, it is not illegal. Secondly, if you are mining in a, in a, in a, in a forest, in a forest, in a forest reserve, it is illegal. Unless you have the license. I'm saying that, I'm just assuming you have the license. If, okay, unless you have the license, that before you can, you, can, you can do that. But you see, when, you, when people just go and then take any environment, because this one, for all you know, immediately after, the, the, after this, they have reclaimed the land. Mm. If you mine like this, and then the, 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 the body, the, the land, is being devastated like this, and immediately after mining, you reclaim the land. It is not illegal. That's the point I'm trying to make. That if we just take pictures and, and flash them all over the place, and there is no meaning to those pictures, people will think that, oh, these are, these are illegal people doing... But the small-scale mining in itself is not illegal. It is only when you are a small-scale miner and then you engage in illegality. For instance, you do this thing and you go away without reclaiming the land. That becomes illegal. Let's educate the people. And I'm, I'm saying this thing with, with a passion in me, that we, sh we should be very circumspect that leading to an election, you will see people come and, 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 and say all manner of things. We are, I mean, clearly, if you look at the water body, it's... It, it, it clearly tells us that things are not going well in yeah. terms of, of the fight and all that. But we should not go beyond that to create an impression that every mining activity is illegal. Hmm. So the, but is, that, is that not why guardians are calling for state of emergency? So that, uh, you know, we can now sit back and put the structures in a better way. Because there is small-scale mining, but it looks like the illegal mining is taking over. So how do you curb it? How do you put a stop to the illegal mining that is taking over the small-scale mining? Yeah, I, I think that, you see, yesterday, the, the Minister for Land and uh, uh, Environment, Natural Resources, Abu Jinapo, you know, brought all the ministers, regional ministers, to Accra, and then they deliberated on these things. And I'm sure they came out with a workable plan. Maybe if those plans failed, we can now talk about state of emergency. But if there is still solution to the problem, why, do, why, why would we say that? We will, I mean, you only call for state of emergency when the problem has emergency. overwhelmed you. Uh, Saka, you don't think this problem has overwhelmed No, no, I'm saying that. I mean, those in charge think that there is still something to, to, to you do. You know Ghana water is not for any political... Yeah, I understand that. Yes, and so if Ghana water tells us this, then obviously it's time for... So is Ghana water telling us we should, we, should, we should put a moratorium on every mining in this country? Ghana water is telling us, you know. us Ghana water tell that 60% of no, our No, I'm water not saying that. I also heard it just like you heard it. Yeah, so but Ghana water is not telling us to... to to stop the people are Ghana. telling you the people ah, so why are you talking like you know the, the issue so, more Ghana, than Ghana, anybody no, wait, ah, wait, i'm saying that Ghana water didn't say that we should stop mining no but it's not about stopping so Ghana water want yes. the water body mm. to be clean mm -hmm. and government think that we can we can make it clean by by by, by ensuring that we stop illegal mining and somebody say wow. that Stop every mining at all. So how do you stop illegal mining? You can stop illegal mining by climbing down on those who are doing the illegal. You've been doing it for seven years. I'm saying that. So does that mean that we cannot stop it? But seven years, it hasn't happened. We can stop it. And we can stop those who are using... Wait, that is the reason has. why the government brought these microfree free In the next gold catches.
to ensure that you can mine without necessarily spoiling the environment. And Baumia has also, you know, reiterated that, that fact. I get, I get very so, angry okay. when, so please, when it comes there. So, 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 so please, no, 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 no. let's be honest with the issues okay. and then and not deceive the people. Okay, so Rosa, it's, 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 it's sometimes, it's like I understand the way you're struggling to, to, to explain. Please make your point. This, this, I understand you. relax. Okay. See, that's what President Mahama said. Look, the illegal man, so that people hypocrite. had been, some people have even been imprisoned. And these are small flies. You understand? Small flies, they are people who are government officials. We know them. We've been in this country, we've heard of some companies who have been infiltrated in the Federal Reserve. And we raise our alarm on that. With non government officials, party leaders of the, in this country, which you can mention them, involved in illegal money. But you, NDC political yes. party, you also have some officials who are involved. Can you mention any of them? A lot of I, them. I don't have to mention, but. No, you, can, I can sit there and mention them. Saka. Saka. You don't Saka, know. Saka, no, I don't know. Saka. Saka. You don't know. I'm Saka, sure. Rick. But I know. I know. Rick, no, some regional, go, 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 uh, regional chairman, women organizers of your party, are involved in illegal mining. You come and tell us that we all know small you know, mining. Baba. We know one of small scale mining, we know large scale mining, and we know illegal mining. Nobody is a kid in this country. What your government is doing is not fair. You, are, you don't have the sentiment in fighting illegal mining. So when you so were, when really Inno Sabu Sen was Saka. doing it, so we are well, was it the MPP people who was, who was doing it? Saka. Saka. You see, you sat here and you feel us. Yeah, because of what you did to me. Why are you did to me? We are not the brothers. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You can't threaten me. Gentle I can't threaten you. No, we can't. Gentle because of what you did to me. You can't threaten me. No, we are all from the same place. You can't threaten me. I can't threaten you. Saka, Saka, Richard. I mean, so we are saying that. Just stop illegal mining. You have the will to fight it. But because you are beneficiaries, We've seen in the uh, committee, we've read a report, government officials with P empirical one, uh, uh, what's his name? I, I would, Hunto, uh, Hunto, whatever, BC or something, was even investigated on illegal mining. Who, Charles BC? Charles BC was Is even. Charles BC, the one you're saying, Bento. Uh, be still something, I don't even know. He was, he was the secretary to the uh, Interministerial uh, Committee. Inter what? Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. We saw Anas that they did a, 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 new, a news portal. And we saw him collecting bribes from, like this. From who? Both hands collecting bribes at the from, seat of pres who? at the presidency. No, at the seat who? of president, they were taking bribes. From who? At the detriment and the expense see, of an ordinary person. At the detriment and the expense <laughs> of a young poor boy who is having <laughs> kidney issues in his village now. And you turn around. A small boy who's, who has made a, a small boy a local boy in the illegal mining sector. Then he's in jail. Meanwhile, the person is walking free, chopping money. And when President Mahama said, no, these are small flies. So let us go after are the they, people are that are involved like, in are the illegal like, mining. They are the people so, on the side. President Mahama is saying that they we are the people caught on the side. If somebody is caught on the side, you say we should leave that person. Saka, Saka. 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 People from Jirapa, it is not from Jirapa. Oh, from Jirapa. Oh, I'm from Wa. Yeah, people from Wa don't behave like this. Yes. So let me tell you. So you're my brother. So President Mahama is saying that let us go after them, those ones we know, the Akunta mining and other minings that were infiltrating the system. Why don't you go after everybody? Why are you going after only the top? Oh, they, are the, they are the engineers of the illegal mining. But are these people not on the Saka ground? told you today that, look, that, that's the most lucrative job. And then when you are doing, you are doing illegal mining, the most. You, one of the most, yes. maybe, maybe... Everybody knows that. Maybe I'm taking part, you should know better. Me, I don't, don't know. know I don't have, me, I am <laughs> like a you would have known. Me, I am a young You would have known. I am a young farmer. <laughs> I'm not involved. I don't have gold in my village. Why are you not having your flag bearers speak on the fact that we are clamping down on everyone, but rather saying I'll go for the top. It's more or less like, uh, you know, witch hunting. President Mahama has told you that we're going to put a farm eh, to make sure that we regulate the mining, uh, the, the mining, and then even regulate my, the mining laws. We, we restructure the mining laws. President Mahama has, tell, has told you that we are going to make sure that every community where there's gold mining, we are going to structure, even put a, a, a mining refinery at that, at that area. So it's not going to be that kind of illegality <laughs> that you are doing for that, that somebody that said go uh, or galam say for oil. You don't do that as a nation. See, let us be serious. Saka. You put a we... refinery <laughs> at every community. The, com the communities where they are, they are mining. What community? They are, what refinery? No, no, no. <laughs> see, sometimes, sometimes when some people are busy, sometimes when people are saying something, they are serious. I asked the question. So <laughs> we are saying that the major uh, place way to calm, calm down this illegal mining is to restructure the, the mining sectors. It's not about somebody being a party person who's not an expert, you, give me, you just give me a permit to go and mine. 
And that is what they are doing. You politicize the mining. We can't say, we can't say that this country should not mine again. That will not be fair to our economy. We agree with you. We agree with, we are, that's what I'm not talking about. So you mean that you that's disagree with you, Sir Addis? No, what I'm saying is that they, they should, but do you think that if so, regulated so, so, uh, mining will you to complain? So, no, but I, I you, think, so I you are telling them, you are telling them that up. what they are saying. No, that I'm is saying that is if, if it's a regulated mining sector, Richard. TUC will not make the Richard. way you are involving that I'm saying. Exactly, you, you, and you know it better. <laughs> that is what we are talking about. Richard. It is not good. You are let them catch you there. Richard. You are let them that, catch you. I don't know. You go and mine I don't know any mining. Gentlemen, so you see, when TUC speaks about these things, or you target speaking about it, it has nothing. Calling for state of emergency has nothing to do with stop it completely. It has everything to do with, can we put a hold on it now? We've done that before. Research and then have responsible mining. Because if you don't put a hold on it, how are you able to say that these people are involved in illegal mining and these people are involved in small-scale mining? Because as of now, they've mixed up. Yeah, so when you put a hold on it or you put a stop to where you call for a state of emergency, now you can actually fix the system and you can have it done right. But if until then, you will still have the system being, uh, you know, infiltrated because people are out there and they are still doing the illegal mining. So it's not stop it completely. No. Put a hold. Fix it and get it started well. Restructure it and get it started well. I still have some messages. I'll, do t I'll take some messages that are, have come in. Um, so... I want to say a big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise all the time for having our backs. Franco Trading Enterprise, so for Papa Pear Fee. So, um, so this one says, I'm not going to read that one. Akosi Kariba from Tamale. Good morning, Rosalind. Why did a civil society and the Ghana Water Company Limited management sit on concern until the country lost about 60% of our water bodies? Some persons in Ghana Water Company Limited should be sacked for not policizing the water body or policing, okay, policing the water bodies in Ghana properly. However, some Ghanaians should stop their hypocrisy critical uh, stand on national issues. My greetings to OK. So now we don't do greetings <laughs> because <laughs> we have so many messages coming. So if you say we are doing greetings, we'll finish today. OK. Good morning, Madam Host. I'm sad as a Ghanaian. Galam says sports food to eat. This Saka will defend all. Oh, Madagana. Moses from Nigeria. Thank you for watching us all the way from Nigeria. Good morning, Rosalind. The issues of Galam say did not start today or only under Nanado government. So why all this noise from the so-called UTAG media coloration and others? Our leaders must sit up because this is clear agenda to pave way for NDC to come to power from Kwekubako. <laughs> you, you, you have Good morning to Lawyer Janta. What is Saka talking about? Are they not in government? Kuvila inside Tamale. Mm. Good morning, Rosalind. Please and please and please let Saka know that River Prayer was pure clean before NPP came to power. But what is the stage of River Prayer today? Daniel from Bando. Uh, the journalists in this country are a serious threat to development of Ghana because of their uh, parical partisan and bias towards the MPP simply because of the token taken from NDC. Oh. God is watching all of us, Aziz. By Aziz, nobody has taken any token. So we don't talk about national issues again because it's political year. Really? No, we will. This is our job. I'm paid to do this and we'll do it. Good morning, Roslyn. The road from Kojokrome to HCM is now a death trap. Asthmatic patients are suffering due to heavy dust on the road. Uh, Mr. Bissu, NPP candidate, if you are not ready to tar the road, why create this mess? What, we, what have we done to you to get this inhumane thing from you? Madam, please let him know that the people and youth of impinting in Pinsing Junction to a shame, are very angry with him. The gov the oh, <laughs> the government will not kill you. He will do what he has to do. If you have a government saying that almost lost, uh, they saying they almost lost election due to their fight against Galamse, simply tells you that the government has put his political party interests over the rest of over the interests of the country at large. Ricardo Bechim. Good morning, my beautiful sister Rosalind. Isn't it ridiculous for this? Um, for the government to say that they failed in the Galamse fight because Kweku Bwahin and other persons in NDC said they will encourage it when they come to power. Shamed on to... Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay. Madam, um, the NPP are busy referring to Dr. Frimpong Boateng's report that NDC are involved in Galamse more than the NPP eight years down the line and you can't prosecute these NDC members, but they come to tell us 
trash. Uh, I will tell every Ghanaian for us to make surgery on 7 December and remove these two more of government. Haruna Adams Tamale. He didn't say two more. He said two more. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Some people watching as a man can say, uh, we the NPP remain focused and resolute to break the aid and no amount of propaganda machinery of NDC can change the narratives. Cocoa prices have been increased 3,000 per bag. Are uh, we uh, not in the same country where Kweku Bwahin and his company team went to the Galamseyas and told them and incited them to vote for NDC and when they came back to power, they will help them to do it again and this kind of hypocrisy must stop. Ghanaians have already made up their minds to vote massively for Dr. Baumia to continue protecting and good policies initiated by Nana Baumia and, as possible, regards to Honorable Charles e. Champ. Oh, all right, so regards, regards, no. Okay. Uh, Mensa Majid from Bechem, Toronto, we told Asamoja not to join the corrupt and insensitive leaders uh, like the president. Um, okay. I said we have to stick to our topics. All right, let me just take this. Oh, my goodness. It's so, I don't know. You know, technology is so different from everything, yeah? Okay, so... Um, hmm. Because of the greediness of a few powerful people, the future of our children is dead before arrival. Stop, Galamse. Hopeful, Bulga. Good morning to you, Roslyn. I bet to differ if you and anyone should say this Galamse problem should not be politicized. This is purely a political issue. The president has all the powers embedded in him to stop people from all forms of mining within a twinkle of an eye. Even the former president that Saka is blaming has no power now to stop people or implement his plans to curb this horrific problem. Tell Saka to take the discerning listeners serious. Mr. Jan, to my regards to you, David from Accra. Good morning, uh, Roslyn and Joe Bingi. Okay, please tell Mr. Jantua to propose solutions and stop the hypocrisy. Uh, weren't we in this country when Ekufado was fighting it? What did he get? He lost in almost all the mining towns. So who should be fighting and the opponent to be benefiting? So let's call on all the key stakeholders. So hey, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is okay. the problem. So just this call on them the to problem. Okay. This is the problem. Okay. Let's call on the hypocrites to support. No, okay. but this is the problem. We are fighting the problem. Okay. We need to solve it and somebody is saying that why okay. should we fight it to lose seats you are right okay. but the hypocrites have to come on board <laughs> what <are> hypocrites <laughs> so you call Hi, you call to you see hypocrites no you you are all mean, NDC. you call you Hi, to use hypocrites Let me no i mean NDC. civil society are hypocrites no, no, let, let, hypocrites. gentlemen gentlemen okay. the president is not a hypocrite uh, okay. gentlemen gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen all right and um hi, Rose, please hypocrite. continue Join reading us. our messages to tell a father to do something yeah. before he dies and how can humans make laws to destroy their forest reserves and water bodies are the peril of aquatic and human life saka cannot educate anybody in Ghana with his, uh, okay, your, he said your, your ideas are not yeah, feasible quack. for them. Hmm. Rosalind, good morning. Tell the right. MPP man that the devil you know is more than the angel you don't know. They can't even control Galamse because they are part of it. Galamse was born under Mahama, but, okay, bad under Mahama, but it's worse under Kufuado. Please, this said inflation is reduced to 20%. Host, are you feeling it in your pockets? Oh, they said inflation is reduced. Okay. Um, they are good at concocting figures. Cocoa and bread is now 10 cities. We will consider kenke and fish before we vote. We are quiet, but MPP will see it in December that Ghanaians reject them totally because they failed us through Mahama Although Mahama was bad, they are worse. So bad. Uh, Mahama knows what presidency is about. He experienced it before. It's no time for trying and error, please. Okay, no time for trying and error. We hear you. Hey, these communicators have no shame. See how they are playing blame games with confidence. Francis from Koforidua. Francis. <laughs> 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 My name is Shiani Kake from it's it's the Team. Like he says that <laughs> MPP uh, gurus are the ones engaging in the Galamse. They can't stop. Uh, they can't be stopped until they are out of government. Let's vote uh, them out. Okay. Good morning, my beautiful sister and my good uh, failed brother there. JM ready to arrest the Galamse. Why he didn't do? Everyone knows about JM. Not now again from Babasege Town, New Town. Okay. Mensa Majid, uh, haven't I read his message already? Uh, the MPP government cannot solve the issues yeah, of Galamse. I've saw, yeah. I've read this, right? Yeah, okay. you read it. Right. What's happening? 
Okay. Good morning to you. Illegal mining, or galamse, has become a significant issue in Ghana in recent times, causing environmental degradation, he health hazard, and social problems. In response to this crisis, His Royal Majesty Otun Fawase Tutu II Asante Hene recently took a strong stand by distilling three of his chiefs who were involved in illegal mining activities. This decisive, uh, decisive action sends a clear message that traditional authorities have a crucial role to play in stopping Galamse in Ghana. Aaron Bebako Kokomisa. All right, so that'll be... Employing his people to go and tell them if you can... Hmm. I'll have to take uh, your final, um, you know, your final opinions on this topic. So I'll start with your opinion, Jantua. You made comments. I didn't make a comment before uh, you went there. Oh, sorry. So you make your comment then. It's true. I didn't... Oh, uh, no, no I asked a question from... A guest okay, okay, let him make so that I also make and then why are you the No, no, you, do, you don't determine <laughs> that. Uh, so, uh, open it, please. Sorry, mm -hmm. open it, please. Go ahead. Otunfo has shown the way, has he not? Shouldn't it be up to the president to now say, Look, guys, we need to change our direction. We need to change our direction where we are today, it is not helping us so from the word go if he would not even talk to anybody at all he should go and talk to Tufu. if he would not talk to opposition or anybody he should go and talk to Tufu. i think we've got to a point where the partisanship should be put aside mm. this is ghana and let the president take the lead and say we are sitting around the table to find a solution, a solution that will transcend governments that come into power. Look, Akufuado's arbitros is Galamse. President Mahama's arbitros was what? Doomsaw. And corruption. But if for nothing at all, he solved it before he left. Hey, are you sure? Ah, would you be able to take what you call it to Ashanti again? Oh, right, right. The the car power, power, with it? our car power, we <coughs> what, still can... What have you brought in? Mm. A lot. What have you brought in? A lot. In? Look, we need okay. solutions. And we need a leader. Second World War, what did Churchill do for, for, for Britain? Was he not the leader? Is he not hailed today for being a decisive leader? That is what we want to see in President Anado. Be a decisive leader. But, Rosalind, some of the institutions have failed us. Army, police, immigration, customs. Are you trying to tell me that the heads of these institutions can't walk to the Flagstaff House and speak to the commanding? They are appointed by the government. Irrespective. This is Ghana. The talking Ghana comes before anything. Go to him. Say, Mr. President, ABCDE is happening. We need to do something about it. Electoral Commission have failed us. Why? It's the responsibility of the Electoral Commission to find out how political parties fund themselves, isn't it? Mm. Are they not supposed to find out how politicians also fund themselves? Parliament, your responsibility. I would have expected the Electoral Commission to say, uh -huh, okay, we are going to take that rule that we have, that power that we have, and ask every politician, how are you funding your campaign? Is this not happening in America? One senator tried to use party funds to excruciate himself. What happened to him? He's in jail. Mm -hmm. Why can't we do it here? The, the speaker indicated that there are politicians in parliament who are doing galamsey. Why can't he call them out? Let's line up all the 275 or 276 parliamentarians and ask them one by one, how are you funding? Show us how you're funding your campaign. And maybe we'll start exposing. When President, uh, when uh, uh, Utunfo took the action that he took. Did he not get the security services to do an investigation of Galamse? Are you trying to tell me that in that investigation, they weren't able to pinpoint the politicians who were in it? Maybe we are not ready to call and shame. Because you see, when you take peanuts in your hands and there's one rotten one inside and you put it in your mouth, what does it do? It spoils the taste. It spoils the taste. We need solutions, and I'm pleading with President Akufuado, please get off your backside in Flagstaff House and show us you are a leader. That is all we are looking okay, for. Okay, okay. Show right. us you are a leader. Yeah, uh, uh, Roger, <coughs> uh, how many minutes?
five. It's okay, five. And then the time is uh, 45, so 50. First of all... Uh, I do time it here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I think that we all want the good of this country. We want our environment to be clean. We don't want a situation where, you know, climate change can lead to what is happening even in the north where we have, you know, the dry spell and all that. That in itself is not good enough. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying that we have leaders. We have, um, unfortunately or unfortunately, we are going to election in three months. And therefore, between the two political parties that are likely to win the election. You look at Nana Dudanko Akufado. He fought Galamse brazenly, even though when I said, because some people want you to say that we've won. I mean, <laughs> my, my morality will not allow me to say we've won when I'm seeing the water body in the, in the state that they are with high level of turbidity. But between the two, you see, any, any government, any president that is corrupt cannot fight Galamse. And between Nanado Danko Akufado, we all know that, I mean, Nanado uh, 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 Danko Akufado and Baumi, uh, uh, what is the name? John Dramani Mahama. By far, John Mahama is more corrupt than Nanado Danko Akufado. And that is the reason why like they could not have... even fight Galamse at all. Has it been put in any court of law? I mean, I mean, the allegations against this so person. So you can person. say alleged. Uh, against alleged. this person. You, you, you can say alleged. Please. Please. Alleged. Yes. You can say alleged. Yes, and some of them are not alleged. The, recently, the, 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 the special prosecutor has come to tell us that he is, your mama is government official one. Uh, but he didn't say he was corrupt. He is government official one. And once you are government official one, it means that it was you but and, he, but and he, your yeah. brother who collected Were the money and all those. Corruption? Yes. No. Was it the, the special prosecutor tells us that. You don't they you all do that. We are talking about corruption. You want to talk about corruption? Yeah, we want to talk about corruption. Yes, yes. Your mama is the most corrupt person in the No, no, no. So do you let me finish? I woke up in the morning. I woke up in the morning. He has taken two minutes. I won't allow. I won't allow. No, no. Richard, my brother. Richard, Richard, Richard. I have taken three minutes of my time already. Let me finish. You are very intelligent. Oh, let me finish. Government of Israel. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Special prosecutor said. Let me, let me, let me, let me. What's that? Special prosecutor said, your mama is government of Israel. But never said he was Listen, 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 listen. And he says that he did not have the wherewithal to complete the investigation on the matter. And therefore, he left it at that. That is one. Secondly, this is the man, his boss, Professor Mills, instituted investigation on the embryo matter. Who, who, which the who, Brazil who, embryo. Who was doing the investigation? Richard oh, Murphy. Uh, 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 who? William Bois. Who, 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 there, there was William Bois. Richard, Richard there was... Uh, Gentlemen. There was Alote. Eh? Mr. Alote. And then there was... Uh, 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 another, another, there were three so I members of the, 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 the interior the minister the then was, was the chairman. Who was the interior minister? Yes, who Mr. Was Bua. I see, I even, Bua. You don't even know. Bua. See, that's, yeah, we have I, Mr. Bua. I don't take you serious. We have Mr. Bua and Mr. Amua I take you and Alote. They, and, these and, were the and, three. And Mr. Bua was the interior minister. Yes, he was the interior oh, minister then. You have a minute. So, a minute. So, oh, no, no, no. It's not a minute. A minute. It's not a minute. A minute. A minute. I, I, see, we have to With all the heckling. Yes, one minute. If you have such a person, who says that he is coming now to reset Ghana? Do you reset Ghana with a corrupt leader? I mean, the Galemse fight, even though we have not won, I don't think your mama is the best solution to fighting a Galemse. Let's go for a fresh person who has the wherewithal, who has the dexterity to fight Galemse, and that is Elijah Mahmoud Baumia, and not your mama, okay. who has uh, 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 tried, tested, and failed woefully in this right. country. Okay, thank How you. is he fresh? Um, when he's part of he's the fresh. team. How is he fresh? Uh, has he ever Richard, been a president? Richard, he's been in the team. Has he ever he's been part and parcel of the team. All right, okay. Uh, Richard. Uh, I, I, see, Rosalind, Five I've, minutes. I've, I've been working with you close more than a decade now. 
I bet you interrupt You've been me working with me more than you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How long I, have I, I, you? No, but I, I, I no, equally no, work no. with her. Oh. No, hold That's on. Really I work with her everywhere we, she goes. We, we, everywhere you go, we are together. I've together been with her together. everywhere she goes. So no, count. No, it's no, it's no, spelling. Don't, don't, don't rub me to me. I am saying that today is the saddest day I've ever sat on your show. And I know Saka. But I don't know that frustration can lead you to this kind of disgraced republic. What's happening? We are talking about Galamsey. Mm. And we say the fight against Galamsey, the way forward. That's what we are, we are sitting here talking about. And we are saying that the president doesn't have the willpower to fight Galamsey. It's a fact. We are saying that presidency are involved in Galamsey. It's a fact because you are saying we that saw, we didn't remind No, we that. saw videos of uh, Anas, uh, Anas, uh, uh, Charles Bissou and Co. Right. taking bribes we under Galamsey. We never took bribe. Charles Bissou never we, took We are saying, bribe. hold on. Please. We are saying that some of the party leadership are involved in Galamsey. And the speaker has equally mentioned your original, your local government minister, the then local governor, ambassador to US, said most of the MMDCs and regional ministers are involved in Galamsey. And we are telling you that your parliamentary candidate says that if military and the police come to a Galamsey Gal Gal site, they should kill them or they should beat them up. No, 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 no. And we live in this it country. Never says so. No, we live in this country where a military man was shot yeah. dead under Galamsey. And they watch another devil of Gopalo. That's what we are talking about. So he's not willing to fight Galamse. You say you have a fresh, fresh flag, brother, isn't it? Oh, so fresh, fresh person. Fresh person with never, a fresh idea. He has never been in government before. Fresh ideas. He, a vice president who has, who has implemented ideas. everything in this country. When it is good, he has implemented it. If he said he wants to have Ghana at heart, he's the vice president of the Republic of Ghana. If the president, he's not commander in chief, it's a fact. But he's the chairman of the police council. So I will call on Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. He's an allergy. And allergies are people in Hajj. That's why you go to Hajj. To pray for the, your people. Your people are dying, Alaji. Call IGP. If, if President will not call uh, um, the CDIs, call IGP. That is your power. If you are the chairman of the police council. It is your power. Call IG. Deploy the police in, in, into the Galamsey side. Start fighting. Do something. And let them rescue the people before they vote in the voting day. The people are dying before elections and you want power. How would they be able to vote for you? And this are so, bunch so of those who are dying, ignorant those, people who have unperformed Those who are dying are not your mama people. No, unperformed people, you tell us. You, tell you us. call us ignorant people? You, you tell us that. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, what are you call us ignorant. What, what you do is not ignorant. What you are doing is not ignorant. Well, what are we doing? Come on, you see. No, no, what are we doing no, that you, you, are failing, you sitting here will you, you, you describe are failing, us as ignorant? You are failing to think. Because look. Wait, if you say they are failing to think? They are failing to think. think. It's the reality. Look, fighting Galam say, what is it? If the president is being failed. The, the, the flag bearer, who is the vice chairman, I said, call on the police. Uh, regional ministers are dead. There's no anywhere in this country where they are doing galamsey, and they, there's no this, uh, this is a municipal assembly. The, poli the MMDCs are the chairmans of the, uh, the, the chairman of the uh, music and dice. So, so you can say they are failing to act, but to use the word think. Nobody see it. what is act. No, no, you don't you think before you act. No, no, but what if you nobody don't think, think before you act? Is when you when you when you fail to think, you can act. No, but you can't. It's a reality. No, no, I stand by this word. So you mean no, your mama was thinking when he was a government and so failed to fight them? You could have called on the, all the MMDCs. <laughs> you are the head of security in the MM, all those areas and hold them to tax. If we see Galamse no in your area you again, you will be sacked. And all these MMDCs will do. Or 240 did the same thing. I mean, so you sit here, instead of you to bring solutions... No, no wonder bring, you are a bring an, in, bring an intelligent and brilliant <laughs> solution that I'm... Uh, sorry, so sorry, you, are, you are suggesting something here? You sit here... What I'm saying? Oh, no, okay, okay. You let me write, let me write. You, 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 you sit here and So let me write what you suggest. Oh, please. <laughs> so I'm suggesting, I am suggesting that the Vice President, Alaji Mahmoud Bahamia, should call her IG. I will call her. I will call her. I will call the regional minister. So we'll call the MMDC. Will Mama call? And, and tax them. Okubwa in them court to stop this stupidity. And tax them to do the the need. Will your Mama call? And Okubwa oh, stop them. stop this hypocrisy. We are serious. A minute serious to go. Business. A minute to go, please. And we sit here when we talk about when the, 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 your party sent you here to come and talk about productive communication. Mm -hmm. You come here and try to do propaganda of not even knowing. I know you are lost and you read a lot, but you fail to read a uh, uh, special prosecutor's uh, uh, report. You failed. How? Well, what makes you lazy to read that one? How? Okay. okay. It's not your mama is the government officer. All right, gentlemen. Our time is up, is up and. And so, and so, so we are saying, Rosalie, to, yes. end, to, to, to end with it, you can never paint President Mahama uh, bad in this case. President Mahama is not in government. We know his capacity, so can, and he's coming to reset this anyhow, country. Because he's not in government. And when we say reset, uh, so they want to upgrade. You want to upgrade this mess? Is that the mess you want to upgrade? 
Okay, in so times uh, of, open, in, times, open, in, in, time, in times of crisis, you well, sleep, get positive. In times of There's crisis, no word negative. you sleep with odd bedfellows. We are in crisis. Let's all try as much as possible to find solutions to Galamse. And we need a leader to lead us. Remember, you sleep with odd bedfellows in times of crisis. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, and so look at, looking at, uh, you know, this, when we talk about leadership, we don't talk about political parties because we don't have a political party president. We have a president for all. Country. We have government for all. And that's why when we sit here and we talk about the fact that we don't want to politicize it, we mean it because for us, our president has nothing to do with presidents for just NPP. He's a president for all. Whether you are NPP, you are NDC, you are CPP, no matter your political party colors, He's our president. he is our president. Simple. And so when we ask that we need him to act on certain things, we don't ask because he belongs to a political party. We ask because he is our leader. And that's all as Ghanaians we are asking for this morning. And so uh, let me, actually, the sad news coming in. So I'll start with the sad news before I go into the good news. So the sad news is that former Supreme Court Judge Justice Julius Ansa has passed oh. away. And uh, he was part of the nine-member nine Supreme Court uh, that head at the Ghana first presidential election petition. And so may his soul rest in peace on this day we commiserate with the yes. entire family may god strengthen them now the good news is that finally finally women empowerment is working again so the ghana bar association finally has yes. their first female yes. president and she's in the person of madame ifwa gati esquire she is the first president to be elected be as the uh, you know, the, the Ghana best female that president that. to be elected oh, as Ghana Bar Association. Very Take very a look at this yeah, video. Yeah, both lawyers. We are proud of Ghana yes. Bar. Oh, Rosalyn. No, we have to watch a video. So let's finish watching the video, then you can talk. Please take a look uh, at the video when, you know, she became the first female president of Ghana Bar Association. <laughs> and you know, the Ghana Bar Association had a conference this week. It's been the yeah, Ikumasi. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic week. They say if you're a lawyer, you're not Ikumasi, then you are not a lawyer today. You are what? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. But Openi Jantua and Zaka had to be here for the show. So they didn't have to go to Kumasi. If they went to Kumasi, they came here and show, no? <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah, Kumasi. Were you there? No, I didn't go there, but the reports. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 I My sister I is a lawyer. And she's oh, okay. there, so I, I know what's happening. Yeah. She said one thing which I like. Yeah. That all this factionalism is going to stop with her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Rose, essentially, so, it was very disgraceful that some people Rose, you, you, some people earlier had a mini conference before the conference. Let's take Rose, a And that was very disgraceful. I think the video. Is that what? This is hypocrisy. See, lawyer Pia, you know lawyer Pia? Dan, dancer Pia. No, I don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, lawyer Dan Sapir is one of MTP communicators. Okay. Just, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he just sent me a yeah. message. That you should, you should be reading uh, the message that goes against NDC. It means that you are not, you are just, you have been selective in your message. As if I, I, I no, but you are. Oh, uh, you just sent me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Lawyer Pia, yes. see. It, it goes against M. Um, the messages that, okay, he says that you see your face for, oh, for you. Yeah, <laughs> There's a read about those you. messages which mm. goes against NDC. She's only reading, no. So the messages that <laughs> come, I read almost all the messages. I don't even know what's in there. So, you know, it's like you just open without knowing what you're going to read. And something you're reading and you get there, you're like, hey, what did I just read? Then I have to put a pause on it. So, no, I'm not selective. So two, it's the messages two, that come in. Yeah, two, two women. So, president if Wagate yeah, is the president, the president Victoria Barr right. is the vice president, Barr for Jail Secretary. Uh, so three, I know Bafo, I know Bafo Jehu very well. Uh, Aurelius Awuku, Assistant Secretary, Savia Kuje, uh, PRO, and Laurentia Adika, Assistant PRO. Esquire to all of them. Congratulations. So all of them have Esquire at the end of their names. I don't want to any trouble before I'm told that you, were, you didn't say Esquire. So congratulations to all of them. And uh, the Athena will last to 2027. Congratulations. But when we'll be in government, so no problem. All right, so this is all time will permit us for this particular segment. We want to say a very big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise for keeping us going. Maybe you know, I Franco could. Trading Enterprise, mm. no matter the gadget you're looking for, it's, it's. you can actually go and get it. It's
they just well, know that we sell authentic gadgets. Good. So whether television sets, CCTV cameras, and mobile phones, I mean any gadget of your choice, just make sure you visit Cheap any of our shops. You can actually download the app on your phone, oh, Franco Trading oh, app, oh. or visit our website, www.francotradingenterprise.com. Franco Trading Enterprise, still phone, papa, pay, fee, you know, talking about that. Let's take a look at why you need to win 1,000 Ghana cities this morning. Now, world is difficult. Yes, yeah, so you're complaining, right? You're paying school fees, right? The children are back in school. Mm, don't worry. We're giving you 1,000 Ghana cities. Just dial star 281 hash star. 281 hash and you actually stand a chance and off chance of winning thousand Ghana cities. Now when you dial it, select number seven, which is Joy Prime, and you can win. We'll call you when you win. You yesterday you had a lady who was screaming, my god, my god. We want that to be you. So play the game and win thousand Ghana cities this morning. Now today, I, I just want to ask the gentlemen here, they are men, but let me say, if your sister gets married and you know after two years of marriage your sister hasn't conceived but the husband comes home with a child will you tell your sister to leave that marriage is that a red flag open you no it's not no. he should stay because if you if if you don't have children you can adopt can't you okay mm. but he came home with it he went to give birth there's a trust there's a trust but she's not barren there. though yes there's a trust issue there okay she's not barren no she's not barren there's no difficulty no having children. but the children have just not come as like two years and then the man has gone to have another child. That is wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. So she should leave. It depends on the circumstances. Okay. Will you no, no, I mean, Papa no sika, I will believe it. Papa no sika. Papa no sika. I will believe it. No, no. She will be a fool to leave. Okay. But the man has not married the, the other lady. No. Yeah. So why would he leave when you still have the opportunity to do that? If the woman, if the woman did it, would especially the man, the me, me oh, yeah. being a Muslim, I you are entitled to four. Okay. And she therefore, but he's not a Muslim. Yeah, he's not a Muslim. Yeah. But, no, but, but I know Christians. If, if the, but I know Christians marry. If the women, if the women, I know Christians if, marry if more than one. Uh, I know Christians marry thing. more than one. Just that you cannot register them. One, yeah. uh, you can only register one. Yeah. But the others. So I mean, there's nothing. Mm, for you, she should. There's say. nothing okay. completely Richard, nothing Rosalind, about it. My father, Nasama Manrubi, has four wives between the eight children. Yeah. So, what is that? I mean, I mean, I mean, what is that? This is not even, this is not even, this is not brain. This is not brain. You ought to stay glued to your television set for relationship conversation because this will be our topic for it. And of course, we'll take it to the world of trends and sports. My name is Rosalie Feli. This is all time of Femitas. Enjoy the rest of the show. Can a man have... News Flash was brought to you by...